Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will talk about the Oppo's Color OS. So the Color OS is the custom UI from Oppo on top of Android and here we have the Oppo A57 with us and this runs on Android 6.0 Marshmallow and we have the Color OS on top of that. So similar to other Chinese OEMs, the Color OS also comes with multiple home screens and devoid of an app drawer and it also has a custom uh, cube toggle center and notification area. But additionally it also comes uh, with uh, some uh, features included in the settings panel so we'll talk about all those things uh, in this uh, video. So if we just uh, 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 swipe on the home screen you get this option uh, widgets and effects so you can add effects to the home screen there are lots of effects included you can add them then uh, if you come back uh, and go to the settings panel we, we have a lot of additional features here so this is a custom uh, settings panel and here we can uh, see there are some additional features included one is uh, we'll just talk about all these things uh, in a quick overview so first let's have a look at the notification and status bar so uh, in the notification and status bar you can uh, see a battery percentage can be turned on you can also see the real time network speed quite similar to uh, some of uh, the chinese oems offer and you can also see uh, some additional options for the notification center then there is an option called quiet time so this is a do not disturb mode you can configure it for weekdays weekends and you can also add a rule uh, to the quiet time option you can enable it manually and uh, you can also schedule it uh, uh, for a particular day or time and uh, you can also start and end time can be configured so that's the quiet uh, time option then if you go to the display and brightness uh, you can uh, see there is an eye protection display so that's a pretty useful option uh, what it does is it will uh, decrease the strain on your eyes so if you just select it you can uh, see there are three modes available low medium and high so let's just show you the low mode so that's the uh, display color has been changed to if you go to the high mode again the color changes so this puts a uh, less strain on your eyes so that's a quite useful feature if you're reading uh, especially in the night and you can also change the phones from here you can go online and download additional fonts so these are some of the options here then now uh, you have the lock screen magazine and this is uh, pretty useful you can add multiple photos to the lock screen and this will be displayed here and you can uh, just uh, uh, select the photos so here or you can uh, uh, select the wallpaper alone so that's the option here then uh, let's go to the fingerprint and password so here you can see once you added the fingerprint you can use the fingerprint to unlock the device so that's the standard one then additionally you can also use it for app encryption and file safe that's kind of useful feature in the uh, fingerprint scanner so uh, next uh, let's see the gesture and motion so uh, there are lots of gestures supported on this device so uh, first is the screen of gestures so you can see screen of gestures has been turned on the double tap on the fingerprints button to turn on the screen double tap on uh, to turn on the screen draw out to start the camera uh, draw v uh, to turn on the flashlight and the music control is there uh, then you can also add uh, a screen of gestures so that can be also done so those are some of the screen of gestures so we're not going into detail of uh, these gestures so these are mostly self-explanatory you can use it uh, if you have the device then some of the quick gestures include a uh, gesture screenshot that means a three finger uh, swipe uh, you can take a screenshot then single handed operation uh, you can just uh, uh, do a single handed gesture and you can uh, uh, swipe from the corner uh, to the center to make this one handed mode so this is how it works so that's a single handed operation and there is also smart call gestures so auto answer by motion uh, you can also see the switch to speaker by motion flip to mute so these are some of the operations available then there is also a prevent miss operation that's pocket uh, dial mode you can uh, if the screen is covered uh, miss operation can be prevented that means uh, 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 accidental uh, dials can be prevented using this option uh, then uh, in the battery settings uh, it's a normal mode you can just turn on the low power mode and energy saver in case uh, you're running uh, on low battery so you can also see the amount of uh, battery consumed by the apps then additional settings you can turn on the OTG from here we already done a video on that uh, you can turn on the OTG connection in case you want to connect a pen drive or a computer peripherals you can turn on it from here then uh, in the storage you can uh, see that uh, there is a file cleanup option uh, which allows you to clean up uh, the junk file so again a pretty useful uh, tool available here if you want to reclaim some of the storage then other than that uh, there is also o cloud that's a cloud storage from oppo you can uh, sync your contacts and sms onto the cloud storage and if you're using another oppo device you can uh, sync it from there then there is a simple mode uh, what it does is uh, uh, it will uh, turn the icons uh, and uh, a simplified home screen will be available the icons are larger and you can configure some icons and uh, contacts here 
So very simple mode and uh, easy to use mode are especially useful for elderly people. So you can just exit from here and it'll come back here. Then there is also a theme store where you can download additional themes. So there are lots of themes available. You can uh, download themes and customize your device. So very similar to the MIUI and EMUI. And apart from that, you also have another useful app uh, uh, which uh, provides you with uh, additional options. That's a security app where you can do cleanup and accelerate the uh, phone speed. Privacy permission is there and a virus scanner is also included. You can just uh, do a quick scan and see uh, what all the uh, trash files are available. And uh, you can do a memory cleanup uh, using this uh, option. So that's a, a pretty useful option available in um, uh, the Oppo uh, devices so we have uh, had a quick walkthrough of the Oppo uh, uh, color OS so color OS uh, depends upon phone to phone so we are tried out on a mid-range uh, Oppo A57 so it might be different on other phones so the Oppo A57 comes with these features and uh, does come with additional tools and options as well so that is a quick walkthrough of the Oppo's color OS so hope you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day